guy was just a nightmare to cover. He said it verbally, you're not going to cover me. If that guy was playing today, he would blow the top off the record book. You either have it or you don't have it. Well, Cliff had it. When he came on the field, people were totally scared of him. He's a Hall of Famer, period. Deep to the end zone to Branch. It is caught by Branch. Touchdown, Raiders. Clifford Branch running a toe dancing. Up pattern down the right sideline. The 10. Touchdown, Raiders. Last place the touchdown pass, Raiders. That was an incredible play. There's a lot of guys in the Hall of Fame, including myself, and the way Cliff played overshadows a lot of us. That's why he belongs in the conversation with the rest of the guys. Art Monk, Lynn Swan, Steve Largent, John Stallworth, no one had what Cliff had. Throwing a deep bomb, going to Branch against Livers. Livers knocks it down, Branch catches it, touchdown Raiders! Oh. When you were in front of him, there was fear there. I always gave him 13 yards of cushion. And even that wasn't enough. You had the game plan for number 21 because if you didn't, you were going to go home a loser. He made defenses change what they wanted to do. Branch came out of the slot, made a move to the inside, and turned out, forcing Haynes to pick him up. They call it creating space, changing the dimension of the defense. They can't come up and put you know eight people on the line because then all of a sudden you're man to man, and they didn't like that man to man against Cliff. No matter. How great a defense you are, there are going to be holes. There are going to be gaps in your defense. He's the man that scares you when he leaves the line of scrimmage. Love to see this kind of pattern. It's almost impossible to stop. That gave me other opportunities when they were double covering him, go to the other receivers. So he really opened up the field just being clipped. He was going against our best guy, and he could light it up from anywhere on the field. He changed the game in the way the game was played as a wide receiver. People start going out and looking for speed and looking for guys like Cliff Branch. Going for Branch. Hey! Oh! oh, and what a spectacular catch. What he contributed to, to the Oakland Raiders was unbelievable. He's been in so many playoff games, Super Bowls. The stage never got too big for him. Going deep to Branch up the left side, head and head battle. And he makes a diving pass at the 30. He gets up over his country. Touchdown, Raiders! There's a guy that can play during the regular season, then there are guys who understand how to take it up and rise up to another level because we're not playing for a regular season game, we're playing for the diamonds. Reds catches it, touchdown Raiders! Holy Toledo! He understood this is what we're playing for. That's what great players are all about. They rise to the occasion and they separate themselves from the pack. Back is Plunkett, time to throw. Deep to the end zone to Branch. It is caught by Branch, touchdown Raiders. Cliff Branch, his second touchdown catch of the day. Here's Plunkett, going deep for Branch. Could have him, does have him for a touchdown. He was a game breaker, big play maker in the biggest games. I mean, that screams out all for be a Hall of Famer is that you've made a contribution to the game and you've helped take the game to another level. His resume is right there with some of the best. That is a fact. But Cliff, no question, he had a Hall of Fame career. He deserves to be in, stop right there. I don't want to hear about all these things, this and that. He didn't do this, he didn't do that. He is a Hall of Famer.